he had the audacity to ask, why couldn't I vote for him? What did I have to lose? Everything. We the people have the power. Recently, someone looked at me and he said, hey, you lady from ISIS, get out of our country and leave us alone. I feel so bad now that I have to take my scarf off when I'm driving my car because I'm scared about my life. We have to keep together, we have to keep talking, we have to keep fighting, we have to keep inspiring each other and reminding each other what's at stake. Mr. Speaker, I will not be here or outside at the inauguration ceremony. The event I'm going to is the Women's March on Washington. Thank God to the women for having invited and called us all together. To me, it's like a very simple message. You're not alone. Love, not hate, makes America great. I want to stand up for people who, who are in danger. And I want to use the incredible platform that I have to make someone else feel more comfortable in their own skin. Oh, when I got to see my name in the ballot, that was the most exciting moment in my whole life. And I look to you to be that other generation that will carry forth the march for freedom. She made sure that her voice was heard. And I thought, if she can do this, then I can do this. The single largest electoral force in the United States of America is women. Good morning, resistors. We gotta vote, you gotta educate yourself. You gotta get out there. You gotta fight for what you believe in. There's an incredible amount of opportunity now for all of us to rise up and to really stand for something. Let's rise up! Let's march on Washington! Our footsteps and our voices will be heard!